is a look at two classrooms at Cranston's Edgewood Highland Elementary School after a water main break burst earlier this month. Well, water sent rushing, water went rushing, that is, into the lower level of that building, destroying books, rugs, furniture, and other classroom necessities. Now, the destruction forcing the district to send more than 200 students to another temporary location while those repairs could be made. And while insurance will cover most of the structural damage, there are some supplies that will likely just go unreplaced. And that's why the school is getting this month's helping hand. We'd like to present you with this check for $1,000 to try to help you guys recover from this difficult time. Mike Bataro and the Bataro Law Firm surprising the Edgewood Highland School community with a helping hand. The principal, Marlene Gamba, clearly touched. The outpouring of support has been so amazing, and I'm just so grateful and so blessed. The teachers anxious to get back some of the simple things that make learning fun. A lot of trade books are gone, yeah. and books that were cherished and loved by the children, so I want to replace those books. Replenish the things that were meaningful to us that we use every day to help our students learn. It's been tough these past few weeks, operating out of this old building on Norwood Ave, just blocks from their flood damaged school. It's been hard not having my things and not knowing what we're going to find. I went back today and a lot of the stuff is gone. For now, they're improvising. A tablecloth turned over, a substitute rug for circle time. Racks for coats instead of cubbies, and books without bookcases. The kids call it vacation school. It has the essentials, but it's not home. I miss that we got to like have like all like an Elmo and a treasure chest because this classroom we don't have any of that stuff, and it was much more fun in our other classroom. The district hopes to get the kids back in the Patuxent Ave building by February vacation. <laughs> Second graders like Effie and her teachers are making the most of the situation and are excited for this helping hand and all it can provide. It means a lot to me because I really care for our school and everybody in it. Mm. And if you know someone in need of a helping hand, please let us know. You can send your nomination to the Helping Hand Committee by logging on to abc6.com. You click on the Helping Hand button. You'll see it on the right side of the page. Those kids are so deserving. They've been so patient. The mm -hmm. teachers, too, just everyone involved right. has really just been trying to put their best foot forward during this. And right. They eat lunch in their classrooms. They don't mm -hmm. get to go play outside on the days that, that are so nice. Right. They haven't been able to get outside. And so they really are still on this timeline, though, hoping for February vacation. Good. So hopefully this money can help them replace those things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So yeah. glad you were able to do that and be part yeah, of that. That was fun. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's always fun to get in the schools. Exactly. She was so cute. I, oh, I, they all were so right. precious. It I was know. hard to pick one to talk to. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I think it was a very good she spokesperson. I know. It was her birthday, too. Oh, okay. Oh, happy very belated nice. birthday. Yeah, that was perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Love it.